Hi everyone, if you're new here to the channel, my name is Ovi, I'm a first year medical student, and welcome to Ovi Med. Alright, so now we're just a few days away from my very first medical school exams. I've had a few tests before during the semester, as you would have seen by my previous videos, but these are my real exams, my first real exams of medical school. And so in this video, I'm going to talk to you about what I did during uh, this week prior to my exams, how I studied. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about like every single um, course that I had and how I studied for them, such as anatomy, physiology, and biochemistry. Then I'm going to show you a little bit of my uh, schedule that I use in order to organize my study. And then I'm just going to talk to you about what my day looks like in the week before my first exams of medical school. All right, so first things first, you may ask where I am or wonder where I am. Well, this is my desk that I have uh, at my parents' house. And uh, basically it's pretty much the same setup that I have in Ireland that you've seen in my medical school room tour. And if you didn't see that video, I'm gonna put a link to it right here. So please go and check it out. Uh, but yeah, I still have the uh, two screen setup. I still have this really nice organizer uh, thingy that is very useful to put my notes inside. And yeah, and then I have uh, obviously my beautiful computer stand, which cost me quite a lot of money because those are the MCAT books. So yeah, at least they're useful now. But anyways, so now on the topic of studying and how to prepare for your exams, that's gonna be extremely different based on your university and where you're coming from. So here at Trinity College Dublin, this is uh, something that I found extremely useful. We are allowed to access past examination papers on their website. So you just go on the website of the academic registry, then you can find uh, according to the years, let's say 2018, 2019, whatever. And then you just scroll down to MD, which is medicine. And then you can find uh, the exams of the previous years or first semester, second semester. So yeah, that's a pretty useful thing to have because then you can guide your study. And uh, if you've never done essay questions, well, you're gonna need a bit of practice. You're gonna need to know what to expect. Uh, like for me personally, I've never done essay questions, so this was a first for me and having examples of questions is extremely useful. And this has very much influenced my study techniques and how I study for my exams, but let me explain. All right, so speaking of essay questions, let's start with biochemistry. So I've outlined the general topics that I have in each and every single one of my courses in my previous video, so please click right here to check it out. For biochemistry, I'm gonna have most of my exams is gonna be essay questions and then some multiple choice questions. Having these big essay questions being worth almost like 80 or 90% of the exam, I'm gonna focus my study mainly on answering these questions as best as I can. And so using the past exams, what I can do is have an idea of what types of questions they would ask on these topics. And so what I did is I had like two or three questions on every single topic and I would practice answering them out. So the first time I answered the essay, what I did, uh, I was using my notes, I was using the internet, YouTube, every single resource, uh, textbooks that I had in order to answer the questions as best as I can. And then with that, I made a little outline kind of thing. And then what I would do is I would close everything get a blank piece of paper and just rewrite the essay, like rewrite what I remembered. And so this is a way that I found uh, kind of efficient, you know, to just remember the information, uh, to actively recall what you remembered, and then you would just fill in what you did not remember afterwards by looking at your notes and everything. And so by doing that, I was able to um, sort of memorize or learn a few types of essays for every single topic. And so hopefully, um, the topics that I have learned will come up on the exam. Uh, we're gonna have, I think, seven questions and we have to answer four of them. So you have a little bit of leeway to, you know, answer the one that you feel more comfortable with. Uh, but yeah, if I did not have these previous past exams uh, questions, my setting would have been very different because usually what I do is I study the slides, uh, the textbooks, the manuals, whatever. I write down my own notes like I did uh, here for physiology. And then based on that, I kind of try to extrapolate what kind of questions they could ask and stuff like that. Whereas here in biochemistry, having the questions in advance, I did not study the material individually before. What I did is that I used the questions to study. So I've never, like I've seen the material once uh, during my semester and studied it at the end of like every week. But now, now that I have my exam, I don't revise all the material. I just revise what 
the questions asked, like what the most common questions would ask. And so it's a different type of city that would have done for, let's say, a different course where you have mostly multiple choice questions. So speaking of multiple choice questions, I'm going to have some multiple choice questions in anatomy and in physiology, but I'm also going to have short answer questions in anatomy and physiology. So in total, I'm going to have five exams. I'm going to have two SAQ exams, anatomy and physiology, two MCQ exams, anatomy and physiology again, and one essay exam, which is biochemistry. And that contains uh, like a few MCQs as well. But my techniques for SAQs and essays and MCQs are different. So for SAQs, uh, let's say for physiology, my technique are gonna be very similar to biochemistry. I'm gonna look at the past papers, see what kind of questions they ask, and then based on that, I'm gonna write out the answer um, on my computer, look at my notes and everything, and then just practice remembering and retrieving the information from my head down to the paper, and then practice that over and over again uh, until the exam comes. And yeah, but my exams is next week. So yeah, until I get my grade, I'm gonna let you know if that techniques, uh, if those techniques work or not. But yeah, hopefully they do. And then for MCQs, what I do is I basically learn off uh, as much as I can from the notes that I have written, as I explained earlier. So in here, I would learn uh, a lot more details. I would learn a lot more uh, specific information. Whereas for the essay questions and SAQs, it's a bit more comprehension. And then when you get that base uh, knowledge down, then you can add a bit more details on top every single time you write it out. But for MCQs, it's mostly very detailed, very specific knowledge that you gotta know. And so that's a bit of a different type of learning than SAQs. And yeah, basically I uh, just try to like reread, uh, rewrite and actively recall their functions. And yeah, that's basically how I study for that. So for the anatomy MCQs, that's gonna be again, a very different techniques than for my other courses. And so in anatomy, the kind of SAQs that we have, like I explained in my previous video, which I'm gonna to link to right here, um, we're gonna have pictures of uh, dissections of donors. So we're gonna to have to identify basically nerves, muscles, origin insertions, functions, uh, and stuff like that. But let me just show you a very quick example. All right, so let's say we're in anatomy dissection in humans. So let's go to images. And then let's find an easy one. Okay, like here, for example. So here we have the posterior region of the shoulder. And so, for example, one type of questions that you could have is you're gonna have a letter on this muscle or this one, let's say the deltoid, and it's gonna ask, what is this muscle? So you're gonna identify. Then second question could be, what are the origins and the insertions of the muscle? You gotta answer that. And then third level would be, uh, what is the innervation of this muscle? And then you say axillary nerve. And then final level question would be, describe the function of the muscle. So we got, you gotta say that the posterior fibers, they do the extension of the arm, and then lateral fibers, abduction of the arm, and then the anterior fibers, they flex the arm. So that's uh, a typical question that you could have on the anatomy SAQ exam. All right, so this was just a very quick overview of my exams and what kind of studying I do. But now I think it's time to get into studying. Uh, I'm gonna do the uh, essay questions for biochemistry right now. I'm gonna do the lipid metabolism. So I'm gonna get to it, talk to you later. So we're now a few moments later, I finished uh, this section of the essay questions, but now let's talk about my schedule and how I organize my studying. So here's a screenshot of a schedule that I made on Excel. Uh, let me just zoom you in. All right, and so what I usually do is that now I have three big classes, okay? So I have physiology, anatomy, and biochemistry. So here you can see the dates on the left, and this is just uh, my schedule that I made from the 17th of December until January the 2nd. And so the way I organize the schedule is I try to fit all the material that I got to learn, everything that I did not do yet into uh, this little table right here. And so let's say for physiology. So here I have some general, uh, that's just some general SAQ questions that I had to do. So I had three of those. And then for the neuroscience block, well, I had four of them. For hematology, I had nine, endocrinology, seven, et cetera, et cetera. You get the, you get the idea. And so by having this type of schedule, um, you know, it gives you an idea of where you are and what you do. And so you can see that uh, everything ends on January the 2nd. And so 
uh, everything is in green because I completed everything. And so yeah, that's just what I do. Uh, I think it's like very visual. Uh, it's uh, I can see, I can write out everything that I need to do. Like it's like a big to-do list, but like with dates. So it's just a bit more organized and I can see if I'm on schedule. I can see if I'm uh, behind schedule and that's very important, you know, since my exams are in less than a few days away. So now for the rest of the week, you might wonder, well, what did you do for the remaining days, you know, until your first exams? Well, my exams are on January 12th, 13th and 14th. And so I have left myself about a week just to do revision. And so that's what I mentioned earlier, you know, just rewrite the essays, just re-remember them. That's what I'm doing this whole week. Same thing for anatomy, just uh, actively recalling what are the structures, what are the muscles, what are the innervations, the functions, blah, blah, blah. And so that's what I'm doing for this whole week. All right, so that's how I schedule my study uh, in general. But now what do my actual days look like? So what I do in the morning, well, first things first, I wake up, then I go uh, eat breakfast, then brush my teeth, go to the bathroom, and then I sit on my desk and start studying. What I like to do is usually um, 45 minutes or one hour blocks followed by a break. And so I study for one hour, then I take a little break, then study for another hour, then take a break and then study some more. And then usually it would be around noon or one o'clock. It depends when I wake up really. Then I would go and eat lunch and then I would take a big, big break because I always have uh, this sort of a slump after eating. And yeah, it's just not worth it to like lose time trying to study if it's not um, as efficient as it could be. So what I do is uh, I often like uh, read on the internet, either um, do these YouTube videos, which is exactly what I'm doing right now, um, or post on Instagram and stuff like that, watch other YouTube videos and yeah, just uh, have fun in general. And then also something else that I like to do during my breaks is just go outside, you know, go for a little walk. Right now uh, it's around minus 10 degrees or something like that, so it's not all that hot. That's why I'm dressed like this. But um, yeah, it's just fun, you know, get some fresh air, fresh cold air to recharge the batteries. And then I can go back in and study some more. And then after some more studying, um, let me just come back to my schedule. What I do is uh, after lunch, like I, like you saw, I was going outside and then I come back, I study some more, um, then I take another break, then I study some more, then I have dinner. And then once again, I take uh, a little bit of a longer break right after dinner. And then I study up until uh, late at night. So let's say around 11, then I go into the shower and then go to bed. So that's basically what my typical day looks like when I'm studying a lot, you know, for exam. So, uh, it's very study oriented uh, during the whole day and in total I have around uh, I'd say like four to four hours and a half of break time um, including the little breaks that I take during the day at lunch and uh, dinner and at night so um, that gives me around eight to nine hours of uh, study time every single day which you know is okay for me but now I'm gonna go do some more studying because uh, break time is running out and I have a lot of things to do left for my exams next week. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this is just a really quick um, video about what my week looks like before uh, my first ever exams of medical school. I'm gonna let you know next week how it went and I'm gonna talk to you in a bit more detail what my exams were like. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. If you don't follow me on Instagram yet, please do so, it's at ov.med. And if you didn't see my previous videos, I'm gonna link them right here. So please go ahead and check them out and see you in the next video.